Welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom, and in this video, what we're going to see is another example of integration by parts, but this time, we have a couple of interesting things going on. First and foremost, we have boundaries here, making this a definite integral. So we'll just be able to use the fundamental theorem of calculus in the end to deal with those boundaries. Next, most obvious here, I just have one function, natural log of x. Well, normally in the last examples, we had two functions that were being multiplied together, and that's what generated our parts. So we had to figure out what the u was and what the v, v prime was, and all that good stuff. So here, what we actually want to do is imagine, well, I think I do have another function hanging out there. It's just a one. So if you can think about that second function as being just one and being multiplied by the natural log x, we can actually go forward in using the biparts to finish this one up. So let's let u be natural log x. Let's start there. So if u is natural log of x, uh, we can find what u prime is. Well, the derivative of natural log x is just one over x. Okay. Let's then decide what V prime is. Well, I mentioned a minute ago that the kind of the clever thing here is to imagine V prime is simply just one. Now, if V prime is just one, what is the antiderivative of V prime, of which is just one? Well, I'm using X, by the way, so I need to be consistent with that variable. And so the antiderivative of one with respect to x is just x, okay? Now, why did I choose the u to be natural log x and not maybe the one? Well, if I had let u be one, let's just pretend, I would have found the derivative of one, which would be zero. Hmm, that's a problem. The other thing is, then that would have made our v prime be natural log x, and now you have to think, well, how do you find the integral of natural log x? Oh wait, that's exactly what we're trying to find here in the beginning, the integral of natural log x. So those are some indicators that, oh, maybe I could switch things around and be, um, and be a little clever in how I was organizing them. Okay, so knowing that much, let's carry on with using by parts to find the antiderivative. So in my problem, I have u times v, so here's my u times my v, so natural log x times x. Let's put the x out in front. So that's x natural log x. That is not natural log x squared because the this x is the argument into the natural log. You can't just square those things. So literally it's just x times natural log x. Subtract off the integral of u prime times my v. So those two being multiplied together, check this out. When I take those two and multiply them together, I have one over x, because that's my u prime, times the v, the x, and of course I still have my dx that is still there. Also, I'll come back to that, but also I still have my three to five that I have to evaluate this entire function for. So I have to be careful to put those on my integral symbol here, Okay, so I'm integrating that part from three to five, but I also found essentially the integral at least of that part. So over here, I'm also for this first expression, x natural log x, also having to evaluate it from three to five. And I'm just gonna scooch over the subtraction symbol here so it doesn't get muddied up. Okay, now here's what's really fun. If you look very closely, one over x times x, well, gosh, that simplifies down to a lovely one. So if I simplify this, I now have x natural log x, of course, evaluated from three to five. And now I'm gonna subtract off my integral, also evaluated from three to five. This reduces to just one times my dx. Well, that's wonderful because we can easily find the integral of just one with respect to x, this integral here would just be x. So I have now the that this is equal to x natural log x evaluated from three to five, 
minus here, when I take its uh, antiderivative or its integral, I get x, like we talked about. Of course, though, evaluated from three to five. I don't need my plus c here because I have a definite integral. We know what those boundaries are. We're only looking at that integral from three to five in this case, okay? By the way, I could actually write this notation as just these two pieces, x natural log x minus x, whole thing evaluated at, from three to five. So let's do that. We have x natural log x, subtract an x, and that whole thing is being evaluated from three to five. So we don't have to write it necessarily on each piece. We could write the whole thing. All right, so from this point, we are now ready to use the fundamental theorem of calculus that says plug in your five into all your x's and then subtract off the bottom boundary of plugging in your three. So we evaluate this expression where x is five. So we have five natural log of five minus five. No, none of that can be simplified. It just is this five natural log five subtract five. And that's for the first boundary, the upper boundary. And now using the fundamental theorem of calculus, I would subtract off the next piece when I evaluate with my three. So I have three natural log of three, subtract three. And so the answer left just like this is fine. The only thing you could clean up if you wanted to is maybe collect like terms between this negative five, subtract a negative three, that would be fine too. Although at this point, what I would advocate is that you just use a calculator to calculate what this is approximately equal to if you wanted to know um, the value there. And I've done that and that roughly this value is 2.7513-ish. So I'm gonna box both of these answers, both what I would consider the exact form and then the approximate form so we have an idea on these definite integrals, just a uh, heads up, you could also check yourself here from the beginning using Desmos. You can actually put these things in Desmos using the boundaries of three to five. While it will not show you all the intermediate steps here, it will at least give you this value here so you can check to make sure that you did all your calculations correctly. So I hope you have enjoyed this series of videos on integration by parts. Um, don't forget to click on our Advantage logo at the bottom to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.